Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to do the first hard exploration. What is the path to cruelty? So here, the enemies have more resistance and traps deal more damage, and you will be running the whole Jaguar temple. So this is a little harder than the usual run you're going to do. So for this, I have the Tomahawk protection. What? Let's fire eliminate further. All damage taken is reduced by 20% while in the light. What is very useful in this? exploration and traps deal 100% more damage to enemies because traps deal more damage as well you can still one shot enemies with traps with this ability on so you definitely want to abuse that because you will deal less damage but it's the same thing with all the other exploration if you use this you can still one shot enemies with traps so that's very good and the serpent's bounty where the champions drop five pieces of gear instead of two because then you are able to get some good relics from the uh, champions to get the uh, good bonuses so let's get started with this run and i usually start with a weapons room to get stronger at the start of the run So here we're going to get a weapon room. So you can see here that these guys normally die with one combo. You have not get hit, of course. But the traps still annihilate these enemies. So you can abuse your traps to kill them. Okay, now let's get focused. Let's focus on uh, the enemies now because uh, getting hit is... Uh, it's really uh, not getting anything done here. Okay, fuck, now they destroyed the uh, trap, so let's destroy them normally. Dang it. So, we got the Jaguar, but I do not really like this weapon. Okay, this... This is one of the best two-handed weapons you can have because this annihilates elite enemies and also does some good damage against bosses with you also have a chance to get the extra bonus which you deal even more damage to elites and champions and bosses so this is definitely the weapon you want to actually be using to take down elites so i'm gonna get that one because mostly i don't get a good roll for that weapon because if there are rooms with no traps in them so you cannot make use of the one shot mechanic i like to call it you're going to need a good weapon to deal with elite enemies. The Jaguar statues also deal a good amount of damage. Ah shit, broke the torch. I can break this wall myself, so let's do that. Okay, let's destroy that head. Don't want to be shot in the ass by it. Relic. Hmm. Well, I guess it will help. So we got some relics here, but, you know, relics aren't really that amazing in the first section. So I would suggest don't waste any money on it.
Yeah, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Still, there is some gold left, so let's roll through it. Get it. So barrels will deal a lot of damage as well, so let's use that. Ah, shit. Oh, he did. He did die, though. Thought he teleported away. So here we have a very good shield. Because if you parry, your main weapon deals critical damage. What is quite good against bosses, because some attacks you can parry. And then you can do a great amount of da damage to them. Sorry, I was just checking which enemies were in the room, and I still got hit, though. Not paying too much attention on that. So let's take down the healer, because, you know, he just keeps healing the guy. Okay, parry went wrong. Shit. Base damage for spears. Well, we're not using any spears. I do recommend, though, that for weapons, that you have a good ma main weapon. Because, you know, this sword is just shit, dude. You know, the giant killer or the titan slayer or whatever it's called here. It's quite good, but I do prefer a faster main weapon just to deal with those regular enemies. But hey, RNG and stuff. This was a simple gold room. Oh shit, the Jaguar still shot. So now we could try to get another good weapon. Fuck, my dodges are really shit today. Okay, let's use the barrel here. careless by just thinking like huh, should i dodge that regular enemy nah and i still get hit so let's see which weapon is better nah this one is also kind of good this is better than my sword let's get it Let's get some stats because relics aren't really that great in the first section.
Okay, you both broke it down, what the fuck? This main weapon is way better than that regular sword for the regular enemies anyway. There's a trap in the room, yeah. Yeah, did some good damage to him. Stats, let's get both of them. Yes. Face that champion. Okay, Yazzie's Jaguar is here. Quickly get rid of those. I think this weapon does a good amount of damage to him, yes. Should have waited for him to attack. Okay, that's him done. Let's see what he drops though. Hopefully some good relics. No, we won't use immediate. This is actually also a good bow. It's good to just get a perfect shot in and then weaken enemies and then destroy them. But I'm, I think I'm going to stick to my Titan Slayer. So in the hard mode version or hard exploration, you won't get a haven after you defeated a champion, but you get a haven at the end. So this will make things a little harder. So let's see where I'm going to go to. I don't really have that much gold, I think, to buy any relics or weapons. So let's go to the time one. So this time room has traps in it, what is good. What did I see? Three barrels, let's go. Okay, let's get them all together here. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. But... Okay, that was really fucking reckless. Okay, that didn't plan out so well because the ranged guy just literally just point blank the barrel and instantly exploded it. Hmm, let's get some relics in.
I just throw them into the fire. So we're getting some healing in. What is great. That's why relics are also a good option to focus on when they give you health back when you do sort of things i was hoping this relic has more passive bonus is what gives me healing mm, my dodging is so fucking bad today <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, really, really, really bad, dude. Get hell from gold offerings. Yeah, I guess we're gonna pick that one. So let's go to an unknown room. Jagger Hammer, no, thank you. Oh, wait a second. This reduces the cost of gold, so... Okay, let's get this one. And we're getting some health back, nice. Let's go. Let's go to the stats room. Again. So hopefully we'll find a little bit more gold here. Switch that relic out. Okay, I need to be fast here. The Titan Killer, what is that? Titan Slayer, yes. Is really good against those elites, what is very useful because elites are annoying. So let's get, what is my last stat? Okay, damage, let's go. Let's get our damage up. So we still deal some good amount of damage against the champions and boss at the end. And regular enemies, obviously.
chest over there. Let's... Um... Let's switch this one out. Okay, now I'm gonna break these stupid statues, otherwise they will shoot me in the ass. Okay, this I'm gonna chain react. Okay, I need to get rid of that healer, dude. Yeah, that was a good parry. Yeah, I need to destroy this Jaguar statue. But I can also break the wall myself, so let's do that. Two healers, what the fuck? Wow, there was actually a Jaguar hat shooting at the guy. Nice. Oh fuck, I'm in fire. Ooh, I couldn't dodge. Oh fuck. Okay, that was stupid. That I got stuck on the wall. No tanks. Any heals extend max health. Well, that is pointless because I'm too low anyway to make that work. So I didn't really. Okay, I fucked myself because I took the path. I didn't have the havens on it, so I cannot heal myself up again. Ah, oh, fuck. I hate this one. Lose that stamina bar. This does some great amount of damage, dude.
Okay, that's him down. Okay, let's get rid of that stamina reduction because I do hate that, dude. This one is actually very good. This one gives more constitution. Let's switch this out. One level on main weapon. That is actually very useful. Let's get rid of that first one because it sucks anyway. And a Jaguar bow. Nah. So I do want to go to a weapons room. But. But. I don't want any gold rooms, to be honest. So let's get the relic. Just get some stats, anyway. Shit. Really need to use traps actually. Really good to take them down. And it does heal me, so why the hell am I not using this? Push this guy into the trap. Yes, so good tactical use of traps. There are some barrels over there, but I guess I won't use them. I want to use them for the elites in the back in this room because they're very annoying. Mostly there's some three elites in this room. Back. Or at least the big guys. Yeah. Look at that big guy. Holy fucking shit. Didn't hit the barrel. Okay, that was a good chain reaction. There's also the flamethrower trap. Okay. Got stuck in the dodging there. Okay, this guy is mad as fuck. Okay, let's get some stats here. Or a relic. Gain my health back when I pass a door. I think that's a very good one. Yeah. Because I'm very low. And it gives me plus 10 dexterity. Let's go. Let's get that health up. Okay, now we're gonna get some money here. There are not there are no traps in this room, it sucks. Oh my god, dude. Look at those elites. What the fuck? Okay, this is gonna be a pain, I guess. Fucking hell, the healer is such annoying, dude. Hey, Jaguar, do your jump attack so I can beat these guys. Yeah, okay, that regular enemy is gone. nice yeah that's why the titan slayer is a very good weapon here at the last section because you're going to wreck those elites very good 
So let's go do a stat room. I do think though that the relic room is better, to be honest. Now that I think about it. Fuck. Okay, this guy's just ju gonna jump out the traps all the time. That should kill him, yes. Hello. You shoot on this guy? Nice. Okay, that was good. Okay, need to be fast here. Yeah, let's just skip that gold. Fuck that gold. Hmm, I am wondering though that I should get another gold upgrade. I don't think so. Let's just go with health. Yeah, let's lit up the room. Hey, there are traps in the room. Let's use them. Need to get the need to get that healer away, dude. Yeah, I can get this guy with the sword. Game looks good though. Yeah, our second curse here. Taking damage causes hallucination. I hate this so hard. I hate this so hard. It's just so annoying that your screen just changes in that old film movie. And also destroys your HUD or destroys it removes your HUD. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I like this. Fuck. Nice. Yeah, let's push these guys into the traps. Let's go. That's why the shield is also very great. You can just stun lock them and push them into the traps. Okay, let's make use of the barrel over there. Oh, 
drop the spear. Yeah, it's not good. Oh, fuck. Okay, I... okay let's use that barrel. Let's get some stats in. Yeah, let's go for max health again. So I'm almost full health. So those relics with the health bonuses, they do give you a great amount of uh, heal potential. So always check the relics for healing bonuses because that might help you out. Especially on this uh, hard exploration because there aren't that much even rooms. I think they're just one fixed one and that's it. Yeah, healers, obviously. One healer to deal with. Shit. I was so out of range. But still, it got me. Yeah, let's get the weapon room in. So, because I don't really have that much curses yet, I think I can just offer blood here, if I do not have much gold, anyway. Nice, nice. Abusing those traps. I do hate that the at the ah that attack just hits you so hard. Fuck it just got shit. That then came out. Oh god damn it. Okay. Fucking hell, dude. My dodges are shit. Yeah, he's gonna destroy that thing. Fuck. And there's a healer. So every damage that I did is just, uh, you know, gonna be gone. Dude, I hate it when there are two of those big guys. Yeah, standing close to each other. Yes, now your friends are all gone. What are you going to do, huh? Your spinning attack? Of course you do. Oh shit. So, weapons. Oh, I still got favors to use. Uh, no. This is a good weapon, to be honest. Let's get this one. Yes. Also, does more damage when I have a shield active. What I have and the light also gives more damage. What is all good because the final boss has his room all lit up all the time. So, let's go. All healing effects are disabled. Well, we're gonna face the final boss, so this doesn't matter anymore. This curse. Good 
get berries in. Nice. I do love the claw though. It's really fast after attack, so you can keep stun locking him. And if you are able to parry that second attack, you will be weakened and stunned. So mostly I roll into that jump, so I get invis invincibility frames. And I do got hit there, so let's take it a little slow here. Okay. Let's see if I could parry that attack. Oops. Okay, let's stand uh, away from the fire. Okay, I do want to parry that attack just once. That, that hallucination is so annoying, dude. Okay, that's I'm done here. Yes, I do want to say the weapons I have in this uh, run. This is a really good build. The claws are very fast. If you parry with this shield, you can do more damage with your main weapon. What is overall good. And the shield is quite good to push enemies into traps, and the Titan Slayer is really good against elite enemies. So, these weapons choices is an overall good choice to finish the game. But guys, that was the Path of Cruelty. But guys, that was the walkthrough guide for this exploration. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If it did, be sure to leave a comment to share your thoughts and subscribe if you are interested in more related gaming topics like this one. And I guess you can leave a like if you liked it or a dislike if you didn't. But I thank you for watching and I see you all next time.